yeah, I guess I will purchase these. It shipped from China. That should tell you about all you need to know. I'm a little nervous. I purchased fake Nike Alpha Flies for $28 off of Wish.com. Here is what happened. The first step to purchasing fake Alpha Flies was to search the internet, and I found just the place. In case you are not familiar with the fame site Wish.com, imagine you take Amazon and you take clickbait YouTube titles and you combine them together and you get wish.com. Wish.com, like Amazon, sells hundreds of thousands if not millions of products. However, unlike Amazon, there is very little regulation to what can be sold on the site and most of the products are fake knockoffs that get shipped from China. Alright, so I need to purchase some fake alpha flies. So I'm here on witch.com and I am about to search for some shoes. And I found these. They are called the men's sports training sneakers air cushion mesh tennis sports shoes outdoor running shoes non-slip wear resistant casual shoes from wish.com seven dollar shipping it'll arrive sometime in the next couple weeks i also have to notice that we have some good reviews it's uh five stars about um chris from the uk says good quality and very comfortable oh and cam says it's a lovely pair of trainers that's a good sign. So I think I'll go with these. I need to get size 44 because I wear size 10. And that it looks like that will cost me about $28. So if you enjoy this video, please click the like button because this is one of the most expensive videos that I've made on this channel. So here we go. I am going to click purchase. Once the shoes were purchased, it was time to wait. Patiently waiting on my dreams to come true. Hoping and praying one day that they do. Oh, I don't know how and I don't know when. I'm just patiently waiting till then. stars in the sky all right everyone this is a very exciting day i just got a notification saying that my wish order has made it in the u.s it started in china and it had been in china for about a week moving around the country it got on a plane and flew to the u.s it cleared customs in the US and now it is in Indiana Indiana of all places so it went from China I'm guessing it went to probably LA and then the time had come the shoes were delivered All right, everybody, the time has come. The alpha flies have arrived, and I can feel that they are not in a box. As you can see, it's just a bag. And the return address says Jamaica, New York. It shipped from China, then went into Indiana, and then here it is in Iowa City. And it's just feeling around the shoe. I can feel, I, I feel like I can feel an AirPod in the shoe, and the midsole feels very firm. So I'm excited to open these up. Um, 
I'm, I really don't know what to expect, so here we go. Three, two, one. And we got another bag. All right. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm a little nervous. Oh my god. These look like alpha flies. <laughs> they look exactly like alpha flies. Wow. Oh my gosh. This midsole is like as hard as a rock. So it says right there, zoom X, but the Z is a two. Wow. You know, I'm just really surprised how the picture was so accurate. Like, it looks exactly like the picture. Alright, I'll give you a full review next. But before I could give a full review, I needed to test them. Alright, we are at the track and we got the shoes. So, these were about $30 from Wish.com and I'm excited to uh, try them out. Hopefully I don't get injured after this run, but what I'll be doing is a 200 in my trainers, the Fuel Cell Rebels from New Balance V2, then a 200 in the Wish Alpha Flies, and we'll compare the results of those. Not the best scientific evidence there, but then I will jump into a mile in these not all out because I'm a little worried that if I go all out I'll injure myself in some way so we'll just tempo it and then that will be the conclusion of the running for this and then we'll go back to Iowa City to break down the shoe right now we're in Gulf Shores Alabama for the holiday excited to test out the alpha flies Did a couple strides in these bad boys, and uh, if you thought the Atreyus had a bit of heel slip on the first run, these have a lot of heel slip. So I don't know how I'll be able to run a mile in these, but you know we'll get it done. And another thing is like, what are the odds that the one other person that shows up to the track after me is wearing Nike Next Percents? All right, let's uh. Let's embarrass myself here. About one, about 80 meters in, I felt like it was, my left shoe was starting to fall off a little bit. Actually, both shoes. But at about 150, the, the left shoe fell off. Ended up splitting about a 34. So, you know, we'll see how these other shoes compare to that. All right, so that 200 was about 31 seconds, which is a three second improvement or 8.8%. So I think the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V2 should be rebranded to the New Balance Fuel Cell 8.8% because it gives you an 8.8% improvement. So now let's run the mile. We'll see if I can finish it. I might have to drop out. We'll see. Hopefully I can get at least a lap without the shoe falling off. People say Parker looks like Jakob Ingebrigtsen. I definitely don't think he does in these shoes. Alright, so 6.20 for that mile. 
And, you know, when I did that, like leading up to this, uh, I thought, you know, maybe I'd be able to run like 540, 530, if I just tempoed it, I'm not gonna go all out. But after about 10 meters of that first 200 that I did, I wasn't sure I'd be able to finish the mile. So, you know, I'm just happy I was able to finish 620. Anyways, let's go break it down. All right, so the nice thing about the Wish Alpha Flies is that they come with a very convenient carry case for travel and transport. All right, everybody. The time has come to break down these shoes and give you my full review. Oh, I'm just kidding. These shoes, you know, they are not worthy enough to, you know, be able to do that thing that people do with shoes. First of all, the first thing I notice is it is like, look at how similar this shoe looks to a pair of real Nike Alpha Flies. It is honestly scary how similar they are. And that's part of the reason I wanted to make this video was really to bring more awareness to people to show that you have to be careful when you're purchasing even just running shoes online. So always purchase your running shoes from a reputable source such as Running Warehouse or the actual site like nike.com because knockoffs exist but let's get into this this review first so let's start with the upper the upper you know the the description of these shoes did not lie it's a mesh upper and it's fairly breathable actually it's pretty thick though it's it's an odd material compared to a normal running shoe. If you have ever worn a Treyus and you have felt the heel counter on those, well, this is even worse than the Atreyu heel counter because it doesn't even provide any support whatsoever. The description on Wish said that these were non-slip shoes, but I think they were the opposite. I think these were made to slip off of your feet. Uh, moving over to the lacing, the lacing was quite pathetic, but somehow I was able to actually uh, tie the runner's loop. So I, I mean, that's a nice, that's a nice gesture. I appreciate it. Wish I see you. However, even when I tied these shoes as tight as I possibly could, they still fell off my feet when I was running. Actually, I tied them so tight that one of the laces started to tear a little bit, so they're definitely cost effective. We'll say that. <laughs> Moving down to the midsole, um, the midsole foam is the uh, Tomb X midsole foam. It is not Zoom X. That's to avoid a lawsuit from Nike, I believe, because if I believe Zoom X is trademarked and. The foam is very firm. Even the on running shoes that I've worn in the past, which I would argue are more like running on bricks instead of running on clouds, even the on hashtag run on bricks are softer than the fake Alpha Fly. Another thing I want to bring your attention to is the AirPod. Um, that is a new addition to the carbon fiber plate lineup when the Alpha Flies first came out, and I I was surprised that they actually had that. However, it is it honestly feels like glass. It it's it has it has no give to it. I'm pushing really hard and it's not doing anything. So I think it's just for looks. Uh, it's not glass. Moving on, um, the outsole. It's got a very nice outsole. Uh, it's very grippy, and that's the one advantage to this fake Alpha Fly is that I believe that the actual Alpha Flies have a little bit less of an outsole because they want to reduce the weight. However, these 
alpha flies have a little bit more of an outsole. So, I mean, I guess that's good. I don't know what this symbol on the bottom is. I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. That is about it for the Nike Alpha Fly. It's really just a piece of trash. So for that reason, if this video gets 128 likes, 128, I will wear these to school and make a YouTube shorts video out of that vlog. So 128 likes. If this video gets 233 likes, I will cut them open and see what's inside to see if there is a carbon fiber plate. I mean, obviously there is not, but can you imagine if there was a carbon fiber plate? Look, I really want to cut these open, so please click the like button and tell your friends to watch the video and subscribe if you have not already. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you had fun. This was so much fun. And one last thing, today's inquiry of the episode, if you made it this far, thank you. So comment below what was the worst shoe purchase you have made. I mean, this is... All right, thank you so much. Live life to the max, run to the max, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's hope that it's a YouTube shorts video about me wearing these to school, so... Okay. All right. Thank you and have a great day.